the sound of heavy rain while you're in bed. You know, the moon controlling the tide sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, and yet, there she is, doing that. Every day. Good job, Sienna. So proud of you. Pat, pat. Yeah, I need physical touch, but if anyone touches me, I will maim them. It's not easy being green. Nine rings were made for men, seven for the dwarves, three for the elves, and one for the big guy himself. One, three, seven, nine. There is but a set of five missing to complete the sequence of odd numbers. I propose that the missing set of the Rings of Power was gifted to a mysterious someone by their true love, along with a partridge in a pear tree, among other things. In this essay, I will plot twist! The introverted character who doesn't like big social gatherings or speaking in front of people is still an introvert by the end of the story because introversion is not a character flaw and it doesn't need to be overcome! Okay? Okay! Man, what a year this week has been. Am I right? <laughs> Chapters ending in cliffhangers are the reason most of us don't have a normal sleeping pattern. Yeah. Do you ever read a book that's so well written and so up your alley that it low-key ruins the next few books you read? Once again, I reiterate. Yeah. Writing prompt. You are the ghost of a long-deceased king, cursed to haunt the museum where your body resides. Which is especially annoying for you, since the museum guides get all the facts about your reign completely wrong. He lived with his best friend. One would even say his best friend for all time. For he never married, and instead roomed with only his best friend. He showed no interest in romances, giving expensive gifts to his best friend and never taking a wife. He was clearly very political too, since he never showed interest in a wife or even concubines at all. That was my gay husband, you fucking- ah! You know you like a character when you see them and you're like, oh, they, there they are! Ah! Okay, I, I have to do this. Andy, it's time to out me. <laughs> put up, put up a picture of Commando from Risk of Rain. <laughs> just, just do it. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> There's my son. I want whatever doofenshmirtz and Perry the platypus had in that K-pop stay on Twitter AU. Yeah, I want to go to my grave not knowing what this post is about. Excuse me, but can someone explain why I just had the sudden urge to scream at a bonfire? Maybe it's because you hate bonfires. No, I do not hate the bonfire. I know what it is. Dark Souls Cravens. This is a hell site to you. I'm having a lovely time reblogging my pictures, so... Mm -hmm. So you're telling me, for decades, people from all walks of life made fun of teenage girls for being stands, from the Beatles to BTS, and made teenage girls out of these wild, out-of-the-pocket intense fans of cute boys. All for turning red to come out and people to act like they've never heard of a girl being into anything in their entire life? It, yeah. Yeah. That, that's how fucked up humans are. Yeah. Well, personally, me and my soulmate use our red string of fate to trip people over. <laughs> Truly the best. No offense to me or anything, but what the fuck am I actually doing? Like, me. What the hell, bro? Snuggles, get your head in the fucking game! Hey! His favorite hobby is napping! Respect his passion! No, 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 their cells are literally slowly burning, they sustain themselves on a corrosive liquid, and they ingest poisons and toxins for fun. Not to mention they become several times stronger under stress, so no, we are not going to the human planet! And then they did. Oh no, Mario, look out for that thwomp! What the thwomp? Urgh.